Welcome to the Great Girlfriends Podcast, where we discuss life, love, laughter, and everything in between. We're your hosts, Brandis Daniel. And I'm your co-host, Sybil Amudi. And we thank you guys for joining us. Yes! We're so excited! We're so excited about the launch of this new podcast. Yes. So I thought we'd introduce ourselves first. Yes. And tell you guys a little bit about who we are. Mm-hmm. And um, and then we'll talk about kind of how Sybil and I met. And then we'll go into what you guys can expect for this podcast. So... I'm Brandis Daniel, recently, formerly Brandis Henderson, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. I've been married now for two years to my amazing husband, Rich Daniel, and um, we are now expecting a baby, which Ow! I'm quite excited about. <laughs> I am a few months <laughs> pregnant now. And um, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee, so I'm yes. definitely a Southern girl. I've been in New York now for 10 years, which I cannot believe. Wow. I moved to New York thinking that I'd be here for three years, and 10 years later, I'm still here. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but I absolutely love the city, and I am the CEO and founder of a company, Harlem's Fashion Row, which is a platform for mostly cultural fashion designers. I'm super proud of of everything that's going on with Harlem's Fashion Row right now. And so some of you guys uh, may have heard of it or you might know me from there. And I also am an author um, of a book, which is um, a sponsorships workbook. So that's me on my professional side. I have two amazing sisters. I'm a total middle child. If you read up Ooh. on if you if you read up on what a middle child is, I am literally textbook middle child. Totally. Um, and I they're just like they're bossy. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're bossy. they are not bossy. They are so bossy. They're not bossy. <laughs> uh, we're special though. So for shout out to all my middle child girlfriends out there and I'm just excited to be here I'm excited to be doing this podcast one thing you guys learned from me is that I absolutely love talking about everything entrepreneurial uh, but doing this podcast with Sybil Sybil wants me to talk about lots of personal things which I will do throughout this podcast very reluctantly <laughs> uh, but I promise to be vulnerable with you guys because it's important that um that you guys get to know the real me and I get to know the real you. So I look forward to to being your great girlfriend. Nice. And I'm supposed to follow that? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, I like to eat chips and watch TV. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm Sybil Amudi. I am your co-host. And I am um, originally also from Memphis, Tennessee. Big shout out to the 901. Wait, Sybil, you're not re- a co-host. We're both hosts. Well, wouldn't that mean co-host? No, I think it's a different. Ladies, thing. if there's a difference in the two, I think we're just both email hosts. us. Let us know, ladies. Okay. Now let us know. We got smart, and, and great first girlfriends. Of all, and the middle's not bossy. Just so we're clear, <laughs> I just got middle childed just now. Anyway, I'm a host with another host, <laughs> with, but we're not co-host. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from Memphis. I am the youngest child, and I, I'm textbook all day. I can annoy my siblings at the drop of a dime. I know right now how to make them tick. That's what I do. <laughs> and I know how to make my parents get me whatever I need <laughs> right so now. I know how to make noise. So, yes, I'm a textbook youngest of five kids, um, two sisters and two brothers, and uh, I love them dearly. And um, I'm a wife to the most amazing man on the planet. His name name is Kwaku Amudi and he is fine and uh, yes I'm happily married for nine years now and I'm the mother of two really really cute kids that I just adore Uh, my son Samuel is a boy six Uh, my son Samuel's a boy but my son Samuel (laughs) uh, who's six and my daughter Dylan who is turning four in a couple of weeks Um, I am a brand strategist I've been doing that for about 10 years and I've done it with some really exciting brands that um, we've all consumed over the over the years and lifestyle brands and marketing. Um, and I'm also a life enthusiast and an inspirer. So I'm the uh, creator of Inspirific.com, which will be launching in September. 
And I'm also a resurging model, something I was doing uh, very early <laughs> in my my young 20s, and I'm, I'm bringing that back to life. So I'm resurrecting a few things in this season. And um, I am a friend to a bunch of different people, and I mentor a lot of really great young girls, and I volunteer my time at Covenant House, and um, I love... I just love being around great people. And I think that kind of summarizes who I am and what I do. I love it. Yeah. Great. So we're going to get right into, so, you know, you guys probably want to know, like, how do we come to do this podcast? I'll start first by saying... Um, it was my I, idea. <laughs> it was totally my idea. It was completely my idea. And she was it hacking was, my emails. It was, and it was totally my idea. Kristen Pope can carry verify <laughs> that... Okay, well, the name was my idea. The name was your okay, idea. Cool. Right. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> so Sybil and I actually met, I believe, in 2008 or... Or 2009. Nine. Yeah. And it was, so yeah, it was 2009 that mm-hmm. we met, and um, a really good girlfriend of ours, Kristen Pope, was having an event for her nonprofit, the King's Daughters. And we were all there, and we were going around in a circle introducing ourselves, which Sybil forgot this story. <laughs> Thank God I'm here to help remind her of this. Um, so we were in a circle introducing ourselves, and I said, you know, I'm Brandis, and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, because I'm always shouting out Memphis. And the moment I said that, Sybil was like, you from Memphis? I'm from Memphis. We stopped the entire <laughs> introduction of the circle Came over, gave each other a hug, had a whole real country loud Memphis <laughs> moment. Right, right. In New York City, in Harlem. <laughs> and um, and I don't even know how our friendship grew after that. Brandis had an amazing book for young college students. Oh, yeah. I forgot and this. we started talking about that brand a little bit more. And then and we realized we knew a lot of the same people. And yes. we couldn't understand why we didn't know each other. That's so true. And from there, it was just authentic. I don't know. It just we it just, didn't require we didn't, much. It yeah, really did. it was just like ah oh, ah oh, squeal squeal. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. And we've been riding ever since. Ever since, ever since. And so, um, Sybil is act- absolutely like one of my sisters in New York, and I'm so grateful to have her in my life. And you guys will hear us disagree throughout the podcast because I feel very comfortable telling her that, like, when things suck and, like, when they're great. This um, is so true. It is so true. So, so we'll, you guys will hear a lot of laughter. So Lots. sometimes we might cry on a podcast. Yes. So I just want to prepare you guys so you're not taken off guard by what this podcast is going to be. But yeah, it's not that stuffy podcast where we go down list and we talk to you like instructors and give you a curriculum to follow that so that you can take your life to the next level. It's not that. It's more two of your homegirls coming to you with real life conversation about things that we've experienced, um, our lessons, our takeaways, and things that we share with our mentees. Absolutely. And things that we share with our sisters and and, uh, things that have been shared with us. So it's not you know, pop culture. It's not pop culture. Sorry. If you guys are tuning in for pop culture, this not is here. not it. Not here. But if you really want to know how to kickstart your personal life and your entrepreneurial or your corporate or career life, yeah. then this is for you. Or maybe you're looking for ways to kind of make your passion come alive. Yeah. And you want to be connected with women who have been there, done that, and are still doing it then this is where you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, we are so vulnerable on this podcast. We are. And let me just say this. Brandis, of the two of us, Brandis is the crybaby. Okay? <laughs> I hold the tissue. She drops the tears. She can cry at the drop of a dime. <laughs> All you have to do is tell her one inspiring thing about somebody's day, and she's going to cry about it. And it's not even hormonal. Like, this is pre-pregnancy. She could just I'm drop it tears. So we really need to find out, like, we need to know who the best makeup sponsor is going to be so we can be like, shout out to whoever for that great makeup that's <laughs> tearful. Yeah. Because this girl can cry, y'all. Oh, my God. 
gosh. Okay, whatever. And I have a really wild laugh. Uh, so, you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> I mean, all I can tell you is if you're looking for an authentic podcast where women are going to share their real stories, where we're going to share our real struggles, yes. where we're going to share our real fears, yes. where we're going to share our real, you know, just like our faith and everything with you guys really we're really opening up yeah and matter of fact i don't even want to hear podcasts after we record it because i'm a little afraid to think about what i share yeah (laughs) and you know quite frankly i don't like the sound of my own voice so (laughs) when i listen i'm like ew so there you go and our goal is to really meet you guys in person like we look forward to doing in-person events in your city yeah um to come into your city maybe we'll do a great girlfriend's slumber party oh my gosh like a great girlfriend's brunch but we're gonna do some really really cool things and we would love for you guys to make suggestions for us yes so we are excited about um the Facebook page that we've set up and Twitter and Instagram. We're going to give you all those handles so you guys can check us out. But we want to know the type of things that you're talking about in your girlfriend circles and um, some of the things that you kind of been thinking through but just didn't really have a place to go and ask those questions. We want to ha- we want to take on all those questions and we want to comb through them and give you answers that can really help you out. Yeah. And throughout the podcast, eventually, not season one, but eventually we're going to have some really awesome guests on the podcast for season two. Yes, yes. And so you guys will get to know some of our great girlfriends who are doing really cool things. Um, all around the globe. Yes, and and we definitely have some amazing girlfriends, so you want to stick around so you can learn about them. And if you're one of our amazing girlfriends, maybe you need to come out here and join us for a podcast recording. We would love that. We'd love it. We would love that, and we want to feature you guys, so definitely let us know what you're up to. Yes, and trust me when I say that this is the beginning of something super awesome. And something new and And, fresh. Yes, and amazing. And we're happy to be a part of it. And we're happy that you're going to be listening in and telling all of your friends about it. What are some of our topics we're going to discuss, Sybil? Girl, we're talking about love. We're talking about business. We're talking about friendships. We're talking about breakups. We're talking about faith. We're talking about sex. We're talking about maternity bras. We're talking about <laughs> panties, granny <laughs> panties, all kind of stuff. I mean, we're talking about everything that matters to us. Uh, you know, Brandis doesn't want to talk about nail polish, but at some point we're going to talk about oh, no. what nail polish do you wear to an interview? Okay, ladies, do you see, come you see on, what come, I'm saying? Help, help me Middle out. child help right me here, out, ladies right here. here. All I want you to do is put on our Facebook page, <laughs> Sybil, we don't want to talk about nail polish covers. <laughs> I promise you, if you do that, I'm going to give you such a huge shout out. And you know what I'm going to say back? You do not need to wear lime green nail polish to your corporate interview. Our great girlfriends know that. Oh, Okay. Cool. They good. Cool. They good. Oh, so, good. so guys, we're so excited to be coming to you. We we are so excited to meet you guys, and um, and we look forward to having just an incredible time with you. Yes. So you'll hear us a lot saying thank you to our husbands. It's because they sacrifice a lot of time. Um, away from us so that we can do these recordings and they don't always understand what we're working on. They don't. They don't. And they think we're crazy. (laughs) They don't. But they still love us. And support us. And they support us. And so we will always shout out Kwakua Moody and Rich Daniel. So you'll hear a lot of that. And we'll definitely always shout out our families who, I mean, you know, you guys They're know. Supportive. That, that, that's our, our Grammy moment. Like our yes. huge shout out moment to our like mom. What's our Baptist sisters? moment? Yeah. <laughs> One or the other, but we'll definitely be shouting them out. And of course, we'll shout out you guys. And then um, we have a way for you guys to check us out. So we'll be posting some really cool pictures. Um, and we would love if you guys want us to post a picture of you guys and your great girlfriends just make sure you hashtag feature just yes. like add us and hashtag feature um and then check us out our instagram is the great girlfriends our facebook page is the great girlfriends and then our twitter is the underscore great gfs and tell all your friends to make sure they visit our website at the great girlfriends that's it for us i'm sybil And I'm Brandis. And we are signing off. So visit our website, our Facebook page, our Twitter, our Instagram. Please post your questions, your comments. Share this with your friends. 
and keep listening. And then we're about to do something really corny. And we're going to do this every episode. But I think you guys are going to eventually do this with us. So keep listening and keep being a a great great girlfriend. girlfriend. (laughs) Bye. Bye.